good evening viewers welcome to the assam tribune you are watching super fast 10 i am monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day a massive fire broke out at the superintendent of texas office in thekiajuli town on sunday morning the local authorities are raising suspicions about some misdeeds caused by miscreants that may have been linked to the fire upon witnessing the situation the citizens of the area immediately informed the fire department in an interesting turn of events, North Karim Ganj MLA Kamalakya De Purakaya staff faced public ire during the visit of Water Resources Minister Pichus Hazarika, who had gone to take stock of the bridge dikes along the Indo Bangla International border in Katigora constituency on Saturday. The legislature accompanied the Water Resources Minister during the latter's visit to inspect the condition of the Swiss Gate at the Voleshwar River when a group of people shouted go back slogans and even at one point the MLA was allegedly manhandled as well. In view of the improving flood situation in Assam, the Golaghat police has lifted restrictions on the movement of commercial trucks during daylight hours in the Kajiranga National Park area. According to an official notification, commercial trucks are allowed to travel through the park from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. at a limited speed without the requirement of piloting. However, entry is still prohibited during the night hours from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. In a shocking incident, a man was stabbed to death by his friend at Katik. Kathitali market shock in Assam's Nogao district. The deceased was a village headman of Nambar Lalungao, identified as Chiran, Chirantan Bordole under Kathit. Kathiatoli police outpost. The alleged murderer was identified as Palash Amsong, a retired army personnel. A shocking incident unfolded in Guwahati after a bar bouncer was allegedly physically assaulted by a group of five to six men in the Six Mile area on Sunday morning. According to sources, a group of at least six men attacked a bar bouncer, injuring him severely near Jayanagar NRL petrol pump. Meanwhile, the police reached the spot. However, the cause of the altercation remains unclear. The flood situation in Assam has shown signs of improvement with the number of affected individuals decreasing to 130,000 across 10 districts as of Sunday, July 21. According to an official bulletin from the Assam State Disaster Management Authority, the reduction in those reeling from the deluge comes as two major rivers including the Brahmaputra continue to flow above danger levels. In a joint operation led by the Indian Army and Manipur Police, seven improvised explosive devices were successfully diffused in Imphal East District on Saturday, preventing a potential catastrophe in the defence. Spokesperson of Nagaland, Manipur and South Arunachal said in a statement. The operation was initiated by intelligence reports received by an army column, alerting them to the presence of IEDs weighing 33 kg. National People's Party MLA Subin Marak tendered a public apology for assaulting a watchman during an altercation at a guest house in Meghalaya, Shillong. In a video that went viral, the legislator from Rangsakona, Garo Hills, was seen assaulting the watchman in the parking lot of the guest house before being restrained by the bystanders. At least three people were killed and eight are feared to be critically injured after a landslide took place in Chirbasa towards the Kedanath Yatra route on Sunday morning. The landslide was triggered by heavy rainfall in the area. The State Disaster Response Force and District Disaster Response Force arrived at the scene and evacuated the injured individuals. In a significant escalation of regional tensions, Israeli fighter jets struck military target of the Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen's Hodeida port on Saturday. This unprecedented strike by the Israel Defense Forces came in direct response to a deadly drone attack on Tel Aviv claimed by the Houthi group, resulting in the death of a 50-year-old Israeli and injures to 10 others. That's all the news we have for today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.